before we do that, I did want to introduce the new uh, segment that some of you may have uh, heard of uh, based on my email, and that is the Big Bad BIM Tip of the Week. Super exciting. Um, and what's really exciting about it, too, is uh, this segment is brought to you by Enscape. Uh, and I know a lot of you know about Enscape, but if you don't know about Enscape um, and you've been following along um, to the live streams, definitely check out the previous live streams where I talk about Enscape. This tip actually came from Peter. Um, I don't have your last name, Peter, so I apologize. But uh, you'll know the tip once I show you. And um, um, if you see, uh, Peter, if you see if you see this tip and you're watching this, uh, make sure to email me, let me know, and, and I'll send you a free t-shirt. So submit your tips, shoot me an email, and you guys will get uh, free t-shirts. But uh, this tip is really cool. Uh, essentially, uh, what it comes down to is in a schedule. So we have a schedule here that's a furniture schedule. And um, as you can see, there's a count and a cost, um, a cost parameter or a cost column here. So I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, you cannot use the count parameter in a formula, which can be challenging. Let's say I want to know the total cost of this. What would I do? I would probably go in here and maybe I, um, you know, maybe I uncheck itemize everything and I sort it by type, uh, let's say family and type. So now you can see I have total counts. I have six of this at $150, et cetera, right? So if I wanted to, I go in here and I can say total cost. So I'm gonna make a, for, a calculated value, total cost. And I'm gonna say count times cost. And I press enter, look what happens. It says the field count cannot be used in formulas. So you can't actually use the count of the objects in a formula, which can be challenging depending on what you're trying to do in Revit schedules. But this tip from Peter, who I believe he sent the link, I think it came from Revit Cat, which um, is Tim Waldock. He was on the, on the show. Uh, I don't remember the episode. I apologize, Tim, but I will post it in the show notes. Instead of using the count, what you do is you make a calculated value, and I'm gonna call this one count new, and the formula, you just put the number one, and you click okay. Now you've made a, a separate count, um, count column. If I click okay, there's one thing you got to do uh, to make it work is you have to make it calculate total. See how it just says one there? So if I go to formatting and I say count new, calculates totals, click OK. You'll see now it says six, one, eight, et cetera. And now if I go in here, I can create a formula called total cost. And I can make this cost times count new, click OK. Now I can actually do it, right? And then I go to formatting and make sure that, that one's totaling too. So total cost needs to be calculating totals and click okay. And there you have it. So six times 150 is $900. So awesome tip, really cool tip. Uh, thank you, Peter, for submitting it. So the, the trick there is you make a calculated column or calculated um, um, value in, in, your, in, your, in your schedule and you just make the, the formula the number one. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you can start doing formula and math using the count parameter, even though it's a, it's a fake count parameter. So thank you, Peter. Um, shoot me an email and I'll send you a free lock noob or uh, a t-shirt. Anyone who has an awesome tip like that that you want to share on the next 15 or so episodes, feel free to shoot me an email. If I choose your tip, you get a free t-shirt. And thank you, Enscape, again, for uh, sponsoring this segment. Um, head on over to enscape.bimafterdark.com. Okay, 